It looks like the baby was conceived on the 12th. Yeah, it's rewind time. Lunch tomorrow. Well, you know, we have so much to do at the bank. The verse is our busiest day, you know. It's the ninth. Three days later. Pull over. <laughs> what? Pull over. Zach. All right, sisters fans. Now, you just saw clips from two different episodes of season one. Uh, the first being season one, episode three, when Sabrina is trying to duck and dodge Calvin, and basically he confirms that it's the ninth instead of the first. And then we fast forward all the way <laughs> to episode 11 where allegedly it's the 12th now uh zatima spinoff i believe is the instagram account that posted these clips and i i'm i'm going to assume that they went through all these episodes and then you know noticed the passage of time based on what the characters are wearing so i'm not going to look back and do it myself so i'm just going to assume that that's what they did but then again you know what they say about assuming but then again i don't give a crap about this storyline anymore so that's probably one reason why i'm like i'm not going to go back and check so the 12th is when the doctor claims that the test results said yeah that's um basically with the date of conception which seems a bit odd but i guess that a month theoretically has passed in the show well technically over a month but here we go uh the post from zatima spinoff says so if we start from the phone call that sabrina and calvin had on the night the 12th is the day that karen and zach had sex in the car the problem with this is that karen and aaron didn't have sex until season three episode six and it's no way he could be the father so why did she almost pass out in the doctor's office also why did she ask about the 19th well, she is including him, so her dates are clearly false. And as slow as the days pass on the show, it's no way there's another 12th. Um, I like this. Like I said before, if the person actually went through and counted up the days in terms of the passage of time, and it is indeed the 12th, when Karen and Zach did it in the car, and that's when she allegedly got pregnant, Again, I applaud the research there because it's something I would have done if I actually felt like doing it in this case. But let's be let, let's be completely honest and ask ourselves the question. Does Tyler Perry even remember this? Does he does he remember? Like when the doctor says things like the 12, did Tyler specifically link it to oh, well in season 1, it was the 12 when Zach and Karen did it in the back of her car? I doubt it. I I highly doubt it. And I'm not saying this from a place of, well, I don't want Zach to be the father, so there's no way. No, no, no. I'm not saying it from that perspective. I'm just saying from the, I don't, Tyler, as of late, hasn't really shown that much foresight. Has he done it in the past? Absolutely. When it comes to the Viacom shows, not so much. But I was going to make a post, and I still am, I just haven't done it yet, kind of applauding Season 5 for, you know, the nods to continuity from Season 1. Like, for example, you got Paris, who we haven't seen since, like, Season 2. That, that That's one thing in itself. Miss Lisa, we haven't seen her since Season 1. So you could argue, well, Jeremy, look, there's some continuity right there he's pulling back from, but, you know... Something as minuscule as a date on the show where we rarely get number dates for the passage of time. I don't know. So let me know what you think. Do you think that uh, these clips prove that Zach is the father? But it does seem weird that almost four weeks have passed. Well, no, I, I think it's safe to say it's been over a month. Over a month has passed since that particular scene, considering the whole every season is a week thing. But if that's the case, how the hell did Aaron come up with a timeline that suggests he could be the father? Like I said, things, you want it to make sense, but then as the show moves forward, there's so many lines of dialogue and certain continuity things that just throws everything else out of whack. Because if this was indeed when Karen 
you know, con- uh, the date the date of conception halfway through season one. How in the world could Aaron come up with the theory that, hey, I could be the father because Karen and I had sex within a close enough window? Okay. Season three, episode six. Yeah, I, of course I'm not doing this, but I, I know the passage of time is slow, but I don't think that the back half of season one, the entirety of season two, and then the first six episodes of season three is a week. That's the only way the whole Aaron thing could make any sense whatsoever. If him and Karen doing it in the early episodes of season three was one week after the halfway point of season one. And you could even go, well, Jeremy, what about each season equals a week? Well, if you want to go by that logic, we're talking an entire season of season two, one week. But then the back half of season one, which could equate to three or four days, plus the day of, you know, the first three episodes of season three. So, no, it do- it doesn't add up. I don't think the continuity works. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like and subscribe. And we'll just have to wait and see how things play out.